What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys on the channel in today's video we are going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played Fulham away from home guys and let's get straight into those videos so we made six changes from the last game against Leicester City talk about the starting 11 so we started with De Gea, Dalot, Smalling, Jones, Shaw, Herrera, Matic, Pogba, Mata, Lukaku, Martial overall reaction this is a game that was more like it we came out I missed the first half an hour and I heard that the first 10 minutes wasn't the best start for Manchester United. To come away from home again, to play against Fulham, Fulham are not playing the best this year, struggling to get form, they had a good start to the season and now they're just going completely downhill. First half, I think, great first half, you've got to admit, what a goal from Martial as an individual to go from all the way from Manchester United's half to go on and score, scoring that goal, it's a very good goal from Martial so he must be proud of himself of that goal. Another great goal by Pogba as well, this was a game that you know where we had to sort of get the tactics and the game plan right come in the right state of mindset in every single game. United only just worry about themselves, they don't worry about any other team. To come away from home, to get another clean sheet, another win, another three points, another three goals for Manchester United. And to also now to get into the top four, is that top four back on for Manchester United? And I hope it is. The first half, brilliant. Second half, one of these where um, we created chances, Chances that probably should have gone in the back of the net. Chances that really tested the goalkeeper a lot. We gave it 100% from start to finish. We were on the front foot from start to finish. Created chances. There was a lot of creativity in there. I think if we probably were clinical in front of goal and took our chances more, this game could have been easily 5 or 6 nil for Manchester United. So we could have really killed this game off with five goals, really. But again, like I said, to walk away with another three points away from home is brilliant. And it's just what you Manchester United need. Fulham, on the other half, they played some good stuff as well. They created chances. They tested the, the goalkeeper. De Gea made some great saves in the game. Again, to keep us alive and to keep the clean sheet going for Manchester United. Fulham struggling but they couldn't take their chances united did we scored in our chances we were clinical to walk away with another three good points another victory another clean sheet it's all that matters back in the top four now overall pleased with the players they're putting a great shift from start to finish and they must be proud themselves to walk away with a good result against fulham as well there was no worries with fulham at old trafford and there was no worries with fulham away from home great stuff for manchester united we're back in the top four now first question is how do i feel after the result i'm buzzing after that result uh, to walk away with another three good points another good victory another clean sheet which united were struggling with under jose Mourinho. it's brilliant and united played some good stuff once after we got that first goal obviously we got that momentum then to go and score in more goals and we got that second goal and we went on getting that third goal. Soft penalty, even though I'm a Manchester United fan. It, it was a soft penalty. A shout out to the ref. He played a part in this game for us as well. You know, I'm happy with this result. We've worked away with a good result. And it's what we needed, you know. We're playing so well in the Premier League. And the mentality is great in the team. So we just got to keep that momentum going. Buzzing to walk away with that great result. Moving on to the next question. Why did United play so well from start to finish? I think after... A poor performance against Leicester, we needed to put on a better performance against Fulham. And that's what we showed. We showed that we were capable of getting on the front foot, creating chances. We are clinical in front of goal. We took our chances. United were playing with a lot of width, a lot of pace. Uh, we had Martial. We had Lukaku. We didn't want to risk Rashford. Uh, you guys might be asking, why did Rashford not play? It's because he suffered with a dead leg in the Leicester game so that's why I didn't want to risk him if we probably started with Rashford we probably got a little bit more out of the team you know United had so much energy in the team we were playing with a lot of pace a lot of width we killed the game we played some great stuff as well brilliant defending again as well we played so well because we played with a lot of energy we urged players forward and we had numbers high up the pitch we had players high up the pitch left right and centre killed this game more with with another goal or two so very good performance from the boys and they've got to be happy with it as well what are the positives from the match i think the positive is that you know scored three great goals we've got another clean sheet another victory another three points we're in the top four the positive is that you know we played it with a lot of energy a lot of fluidity we urged players forward we put on a better performance as well against fulham 
and I think you know to play a better performance against Fulham probably was what we wanted as well going into our next game against Liverpool obviously and they were things that we struggled on of getting players forward we struggled with fluidity energy in the Leicester game and to pay that all off against Fulham is fantastic it's just what you need as well out of the players as well the positive is that we scored three amazing goals without Pogba as well playing so well it just goes to show that you know it's not only just Pogba that's playing well now it's Martial Rashford, Lukaku's still struggling with his form, uh, still struggling to score goals now and there, but it's something to, that he's got to work on. He said he's losing muscle, but is he though? That's the thing, is Lukaku losing muscle? Because he kept on gifting possession back to them, so he's still not finding his rhythm as well. This is a good game for Manchester United overall. We showed a lot of pace in the team performance, a lot of width and players have got to take a pat on the back because that was a very good performance against Fulham. To grind out a good result against Fulham, it's just what we want. To get another three points, another victory, another clean sheet, it's all that matters really. You can't get any better than that really. Next question was, was I worried if Fulham were going to score? They had chances in front of goal. They didn't take the chances, but they did get close, but not close enough to score. Fulham are a team that are struggling this season. They're scoring goals for fun, but now they're not scoring goals for fun. I don't know if they have to change up the dynamic now, but there's something going on in the team that you know that needs to improve for them. I really underestimated Fulham this season as well, because I thought they were going to do better than I thought they would. But no, obviously, you know, it's hard to come from the Championship to come into the Premier League. It's not enough for Fulham. Moving on to the next question. Who is my man of the match? Has to be Pogba because obviously he scored those two amazing goals. He got the first goal and the penalty. Brilliant. Managed to put that penalty away. He was lucky enough to score that penalty. Again, it's that stupid run up again. I'm happy that Paul Pogba is now playing well. Getting the game time that he needs. Another great performance by him. Another good performance by Martial. I'm happy about it now. Pogba's getting a plenty man of the matches now, and so is Rashford. Am I happy that United are back in the top four? Of course I am, because that shows signs now. The top four's back on for Manchester United. We're making good signs uh, as well. We were struggling to get clean sheets under Jose Mourinho, and if we're showing that we can walk away with clean sheets now, it's a positive that you've got to walk away with. Clean sheets were, we were struggling with. We're now getting clean sheets we now think this is a piece of cake for Manchester United and if we keep up with this good form we can now go and beat Liverpool, City, Arsenal, Chelsea all these big teams that are coming up we've got a, a big month as well Chelsea, Liverpool, PSG it's not going to be easy for us but you know we're showing good signs that we're playing some of our best stuff in the top four is the top four back on for us? of course it is teams like Chelsea and Arsenal I just don't think I've got enough to get the top four. But I think the one team that deserves a top four is definitely Manchester United. The way how I've been playing recently, in recent weeks, we deserve to be in the top four and we deserve to be to have a spot for the Champions League for next year. If we carry on the way we play now, we definitely get top four. And if we keep picking up points where we need to in games, if we go and do that, we'll be all buzzing with ourselves. And First goal, Shaw won possession back well, passed it to Herrera, Herrera passed it back to Shaw, Shaw passed it to Martial, Pogba calls for the ball, Martial passed it to Pogba, and Pogba puts it away, beats the keeper at near post for a 1-0. The keeper's got to be better because when you get beat at your near post, you shouldn't be really getting beat at your near post really, but that's bad goalkeeping and also Pogba to score on his weaker foot as well, brilliant as well. Second goal, Jones passed it to Martial, Martial Made a great run, passed not one but two defenders and puts it away in for 2-0, nice and composed. Brilliant goal from Martial, has to take a pat on the back. Third goal, Pogba steps up for a penalty and puts it in for 3-0. Lovely job, they just what Manchester United needed. Talking about the substitutions now, Martial went off for Sanchez, talk about Martial's performance. Score one of the goals of the season, definitely. A constant threat down the left and has, and has to start against Paris Saint-Germain. Pogba went off him at Tomine, talk about Pogba's performance, scored the breakthrough goal but his game management was more impressive, he used the ball prudently and Fulham looked visible, intimidated. Herrera went off for Bailey, talk about Herrera's performance, had a dismissal start that almost resulted in a Fulham goal but picked up and was in leadership mode, often on Romelu Lukaku's case. Obviously Lukaku's not playing the best 
but he needs to sort of start lifting up his game now. Obviously against big games now against Liverpool and Chelsea. Obviously next up it's now Liverpool. Liverpool second in the table. I think coming up against Liverpool it's going to be a tough test now. The last game was played under Jose Mourinho. But now that Ollie's come in it's been attackive football. Things have changed for Manchester United. The mood's changed. We've got the motivation back. We've got that winning mentality to go and beat these teams now like Liverpool. I think City will, will want United to do a job against Liverpool because obviously then that's back on for them to for the title. But this one against Liverpool will not be easy. We should beat Liverpool at home. Last time round we beat Liverpool 2-1. We know this one's not going to be easy. Against Liverpool obviously they've got Firmino, Mane, Salah and Shaqiri. If you look back at it as well, from last year of being at Old Trafford, their big players just don't seem to turn up, but ours do. But that's the thing now, because Manchester United have got to play most of these now at home now. It seems like Liverpool will want to walk away with a good result against Manchester United away from home. If we're physically, mentally prepared for this one, come in the right state of mindset, prepare well for this game, we'll beat Liverpool. Liverpool, you know, they've been up and down. They didn't get the best out of the team against Leicester. They didn't get the best out of the team against West Ham. Struggling now in the Premier League. They're feeling the pressure. But this is the time now where Liverpool are going to start to slip. United have got that opportunity now to go and punish Liverpool. But if we go and punish Liverpool now and get our revenge from getting beat away from home and put Leeds to bed, it's not going to be easy, but at the end of the day, we've got to prepare well to come in the right state of mindset. We prepare well in training. We uh, just put Liverpool to bed. It's not going to be easy, but we have to put Liverpool to bed. Like I said, City will want United to do a job against Liverpool. Can we do it? I don't see why not. We're looking in good shape. We look sharp. We're in good form. I don't see why not. We'll go and beat Liverpool. Liverpool feeling the pressure now, so let's put the pressure onto them and let's see how they can deal with it this time round. I hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if I new. See you guys in a video in the next couple of days and peace.